Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well and having a great day as always. So for this video, I thought we would take a look at some new material that 20th Century Studios have released for Alien Romulus in the form of a couple new short trailers as well as some images that they've released over the last day or two. So we'll begin with the IMAX trailer. <coughs> we'll watch it first and then I'll go through and comment on some of the new footage that they're sure showing it. Do, are you sure are you want to do that? Put it to 1080p as well. Right, there we go. Are you sure you want to do this? This is our only ticket out of here. Should be in and out in 30 minutes. On August 16th. This place gives me the creeps. Fear is bigger. That who's hunting us? You know, Max. Right, so that was a very short look. Um, it's for IMAX. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think that's like a special kind of cinema where it has like a different size screen or something. You'll have to let me know because I've never seen a film at IMAX. I'm not completely sure what it is. But let's slow this down and then we'll go through it and have a look at some of the footage that we're not seeing because there's actually some new footage in here so i don't sure think we've seen this part here this? Uh, i think that looks like at the start where um something actually quite interesting i heard i'll i'll, I'll tell, talk about in a minute actually a theory on the planet that they're supposed to be escape trying to escape That's from so here long. what i actually heard i'm not sure if this is confirmed but I remember seeing a comment somewhere on a video saying that they think this is actually going to turn out to be LV-426, so the planet from Alien and Aliens. So that would be interesting, actually, if that is the case. Because um, we actually can see here, you see this little bar sign? That's just like in Hadley's Hope, isn't it? And then, you know, the atmosphere processor. So I wonder if that... You know, I actually think that might be true. So you actually get a view of a functioning colony, which we've not really had that much of a look at before in Alien movies. Literally just that deleted scene at the start of Aliens. But I think that's it. So that's something quite interesting seeing this film that we've not seen. Sort of, to, sort of fill in some of the gaps in the world that we hear about, but we don't really see that much in the actual Take films, do we? There. Should be in and out in 30 minutes. On August 16th. Just as well, uh, that it looks like a lab, but in this uh, beaker here, I wasn't sure what this was. What I actually thought was <clears throat> there are rumours uh, that the possibility, I actually did a video about myself, the possibility whether or not the black goo may reappear. So that's what I thought initially, but. Um, watching somebody else's video, what this actually looks like is a facehugger leg because apparently in this movie, the facehuggers are a different type or something and they've got these barbs that come out of the legs so they can like grip onto your face, which is probably even worse than a regular facehugger, you know, if it wasn't bad enough. But then these ones were them little little things, that, sharp things that stick out. Oh horrible isn't it and it, so it looks like they've cut off a piece and it's in this this may be some sort of preservation fluid or something it's so it's really creeps. seen this before it's the part where yeah where um, the face hooker's in the water but you can actually see it swimming right at the start there if I go back bit further yeah there down here see the face we're swimming in the water. we have seen aliens swimming before but not face figures because in alien resurrection I thought that's quite interesting uh, we've seen here is bigger 
Oh yeah, that's cool. It's um, a little bit of a better look at all the face hookers trying to get through that door. That's pretty cool, isn't that? That's, that's scary. I'll tell you what, I always thought the face huggers were the most disturbing thing about the xenomorphs. Rather than the actual full-grown xenomorph, because you know that's the most dangerous thing. But the thing that creeps me out the most was always the face hook. That is kind of nice. You know me. Yeah, I don't think we've seen. I think we've just seen this as like a static image, but I don't think we actually seen this where the xenomorph actually moves around a bit more. Let's take another look at that. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Oh, and then here. We get another look at the, uh, what this is actually looks like is the cocoon. So, you know, like I said earlier, I was talking about the colonies kind of filling in gaps in the alien universe for like stuff we've not seen. What this is, what it looks like is the cocoon. So, you know, once a chest burster has uh, burst its way out of a host, we don't really see it actually growing from the chest burster to the adult so what this is is it actually cocooning itself and growing and then coming out of the cocoon which is um something actually i'm quite surprised that we've not seen properly in a movie in like what was it been like six alien films and we're only just seeing this what this here looks like i think so i guess the cocoon is like when it's ready probably to get out it like stabs its tail through and I think that's what this is. It looks like it's got a little bit of acid blood coming off as well, probably puncturing itself out of the cocoon. You know, kind of like a chest burster like comes out of a human, I guess the alien comes out of its cocoon. That's kind of cool, isn't that? With that, that blood flowing down as well. I, I don't really want to say out loud what this reminds me of but let's just say it's very Giga-ish isn't it? Very Giga-esque what that looks like oh, look at that and it like that guy is like looking at it and it comes out and looks like it hits him in the face I don't know if it like stabs him and kills him or it just sort of hits him and knocks him out Oh, it looks like a like explosive decompression of yeah yeah look at that so i don't know if this is like the romulus module or the remus module there's apparently two modules in the spaceship and um i guess at one point it gets like broken in half and there's all the stuff gets into space <laughs> And then there's the, um, I always like that, that image there. There, I know we've seen it before, but I think that just looks so cool, that alien. I really do like the design of the alien. Uh, in this movie, which I'll actually get to soon, because there's some new images of the entire xenomorph. So let's move on to the next trailer now. Featurette. I kiss tree. So this is cool as well. It's oh, like a uh, kind of behind the scenes short look. So let's play it and then we'll go back and analyze it. Yeah, oh, I wonder if it's still, yeah, put it back to full speed. There we go. Let's watch this and then um, we'll go over it. <laughs> The Alien franchise holds such a iconic space in cinematic history. The whole idea behind this film was to really take it back to basics and make it a pure horror movie again. This story slips right in between Alien and Aliens. Rain and her brother Andy are the hardest story. Are we leaving? Denied. Again. I don't want to end up like our parents. Do you? The ship's our way out of here. Welcome to the Romulus Space Station. There's a lot of secrets and things they don't know inside that ship that will cost them dearly. <gasps> oh my God. Just like Ridley did with Alien 1, Fede made a point in not green screening it. 
as a fan of the franchise. I knew it needed to be greedy and grounded. So we built every creature for real. This film brings all of the things that we love from this franchise, so you know it's going to be properly scary. If you don't stay quiet, we will die. Right, so let's go back to the start. That was cool, wasn't it? I really like that uh, feature because it shows you the film, but they also talk a little bit behind the scenes, which is interesting too. So let's put that to half speed and then we can. That's cool, isn't it? One of them uh, clapperboard things that they use. Didn't know if they still use them. Uh... Just the Alien thing. franchise holds such a um, iconic a space in cinematic history. Uh, the, in there, right. the whole idea behind this film was to really take it back to basics. Wait, isn't it? All this slight stuff, but then when you see there's like cameras and make it as well. a pure horror movie again. that same look at the xenomorph I talked about yeah here's uh, another look at the colony which is pretty cool actually how it's it looks so all f we see it all fleshed out and, and working this story slips too. right in between alien and alien so I wouldn't do it uh, here they're talking about how Rain it's set between the first two movies so I, I actually do wonder whether it will be oh, really? out before 26 actually. I didn't Tonight. really think about that until I just read some Again. random comments saying he thinks it is. I don't want um, to end up like our right, parents. So I guess this yeah. looks like the more planning, like they're, they're just basically sick of this monotonous, boring, sort of hard sort of life that they're living on this colony kind of reminds me of like something like coal miners or something doesn't it like where they have to work in these horrible conditions probably long hours long days on this horrible place actually reminds me of a long time ago i used to have a job in a factory and that was like just the absolute worst job you can get is working in a factory in this day and age so I do kind of, yeah, it's kind of resonate with me, the idea of them wanting to escape from this horrible Welcome sort of place they have to live and work. Okay, so here we are, a little bit more of this ship. And the inside, I just thought that was cool, because that's them doors, isn't it, from the first movie, the ventilation the doors. Oh, for God's sake, hang on. There we go. Yeah, you know, from the first film, it's that sort of, that round opening thing and I remember in Alien Isolation it had a lot of them as well and so I guess this is where the Xenomorph's going to be kind of going in and out and there's a lot of there. secrets and things they that don't know so inside work. that ship that will cost yeah I wonder if that dearly. is going to be the black goo or something maybe let's go back because he was holding like a test tube Cost them dearly. <laughs> Fair enough. Far enough. Is they don't know inside that ship that will. There. Ah, uh, well, you get the idea, don't you? Yeah. Holding that too, but I wonder if that might dearly. be black goo and he's oh he's carrying a bunch of them in that thing isn't he on that other uh, that other train oh my god where it's like in the blue mist and that thing he's like he's got a bunch of like tubes in there just like really or maybe something else oh there he's holding the made tail which is cool isn't it? look you see the tail there i really do like how they've got all looks like the whole uh the actual alien is all practical in a suit which we've not seen since AVPR. I, didn't, I can't believe it's been that long since we've actually in seen one, a proper physical alien. In not 
green yeah, screen. Yeah. There it is. That's that uh, that image from that other video with the guy in the suit sitting yeah. up there. And there's that bottle. I wonder if that's like a bottle of Xenomorph blood or something else I thought of after I made that video. Maybe it's just like a bottle of Mounted Dew and they're just like giving the actor a drink or something because they are like that bright green, aren't they? It might be something just as simple as that. And then here's something a lot of people have been talking about. It says Legacy Xeno on it. But I wonder what that means. In, I think I've heard people say, like, maybe Legacy is the name of the special effects company, but I thought it was Weta that was doing the effects for this film. I'm, I'll have to look into that, but something else some people have thought as well. Maybe by Legacy Xeno, this prop is something to do with the Big Trap Alien, which is supposed to be returning in this film. It's, it's all but confirmed, I think, the original Alien... It's going to turn out like they find it, and that's what sort of sets this happening. So maybe that's something to do with the uh, Big Trap alien. I wonder if this one here is the Big Trap or, or another alien. I'm not sure if there's just one alien in this film, or whether there'll be multiple. Hopefully, more than one alien. Yeah. It's like at least... As if I had that's cool, isn't it? Because it's like... I think the saying in this scene as well, it's like... The director said if they can do it practical and not a green screen so she's actually hanging from wires and going down this sort of long hallway which I, I guess it's vertical but in the film that'll be like a horizontal uh, sorry no a a it's it's horizontal here but in the film they'll sort of basically just flip it so it's like she's falling down a vertical shaft or something but that's cool and it? it's a whole set a real set it's not just a green background with it just i know cgi'd in and that that's that's cool they actually sort of seems to be going back to cl their they classic style filmmaking you know, it I mean. to yeah, it actually pra all it. Like practical stuff so which is cool. every creature I think for real Oh, yeah, I love that as well, with its um, fingers are all toes and all of the uh, things that we love that really from cool. this franchise. Just creepy things So like you that. know it's going to be proper Look, it's like this shot. That's cool, that reminds me of the first alien. If you don't say why, we will die. It's all practical, though. Even without, like, scary. the film lighting and stuff, that looks really it's cool. It's going to be properly it? scary. Oh, wow. It's sort of over the so view of the camera. Know, Look, even there, practice. it's not even it's not even got the like the film filters over it or anything. But look how good that looks just in basically that's what it looked like if you were there in person. That looks amazing. No, it's gonna be properly I think scary. The suit. I think before it was ADI for the AVP movies. And they're quite good, but so far, I think this one looks even better. <laughs> Them containment things. That's interesting, isn't it? It's like, I guess that kind of like artificially works like an egg would, sort of like life support for the face huggers. And then when they're ready, they just sort of tear out. So I'm really interested in finding out like, what the whole deal is with like a bunch of xenomorphs it looks like they've been studying them in a lab but they've not really shown us that much or told us what's happening so that's something i really like about these trailers they don't give much away they give you a peek but they don't really explain anything so i think when i go in to see the film i still won't really have much of an idea what's actually going on story wise which is the way, the right way to do it seen that before with her going down that corridor like that. Oh, uh, the android gets zapped with like a taser or something. Oh. 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 That's cool, and they're all in place with this jump around everywhere and 
high, send someone down a hole high. Alright, so that's that. Uh, what is that? It just says, I Alien Romulus in theatres. Is that like another short trailer or something we just saw? And now lastly, we have this article on AVP Galaxy. So there's actually been some new images shown in some film magazine covers. So this one's called Total Film. And then look at this cool side image of the Xenomorph. I don't know if this is the actual suit or if this is like... It looks more like a CGI render, doesn't it? I think. I don't think that's the actual suit. But that is nice how it's, you know, just sort of the classic Xenomorph. It's sort of crouched and it's got like its tail curling round. We've seen that in quite a lot of images of the Xenomorph. But this does look very much like the original. I'll come back to this because they've actually got a picture that they've done where it's basically this image but they've used photoshop to remove the text so it'll give us an even better look at this but i do like this image that's very cool and then underneath we have a alternate cover for it that's cool isn't it look the the mouth of the xenomorph the full-on front uh face of the xenomorph with little dribble coming out of his mouth the silver teeth there and then it's like a reflection of uh, what what's her name? The main character stood there with the uh, the uh, it's like an older version of the pulse rifle that's supposed to be that gun she's holding, reflected in the uh, head time of the Xenomorph. So I do like this picture as well. This image, it's very nice image. And then here we go. Can I expand that? Uh, uh, now nah, we'll just go back. Here we go, look at that, that's cool isn't it? Nice image, just a side profile of it in water. So, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty good looking, pretty good looking xenomorph. So look, you've got the long head, pretty alien one looking. Um, we've got the dorsal tubes here. They're quite short and stubby looking, aren't they, compared to others? I wonder if that's because I noticed in some of the older films, you know the dorsal tubes when they use a practical suit, they kind of like tend to wobble about a bit and it sort of gives away that it's a guy in a rubber suit. I noticed that in uh, in uh, AVP and Aliens, you know, you'll see these, they just like, like flop around, it looks a bit, you know, a bit rubbery, so I wonder if they shorten them to stop that happening. Um... Oh yeah, this uh, this piece here is different from Xenos we've seen before. This like the sternum piece is like sort of juts out, doesn't it? Very like at a steep angle because it, it sort of goes down the neck and then it just it just juts right out like that. That's interesting. And then looks like it's got some sort of like ridges on it, like a spine would, but down the front. So it has a very skeletal look, which I like. The Xenomorph always had a skeletal and biomechanical sort of look mixed together, didn't it? And this design seems to have that, which I like. I do really like the look of this, and I think it'll probably probably be my second favourite after the original Big Chap, because the Big Chap will always be my favourite. But then after that, it was the AVP design which was my second, but I think this might take the place of that, because I like the AVP one, but it, it was missing the biomechanical bit, wasn't it, kind of? It looked more like an animal than a biomechanical creature. Um, so, here's the arm. It's got, it's got the long... Uh, does it, one, two, three, four... Oh, I was going to say, it almost has the original Xenomorph, because the original Xenomorph, it had six fingers, didn't it? And the sort of long, bony, spindly thing, uh, for spindly fingers, which they've gone back to here. Almost like a facehugger's fingers, isn't it? Long and horrible looking. Rather than, I think it's aliens onwards. They kind of looked more like animal claws, didn't they? Rather than bony, long, human-esque hands. So the legs looking pretty standard. Um, and then the, the tail has a nice, thick, long tail, doesn't it? 
And then a very nice, very sharp looking tail barb on the end. I wonder if they'll, um, if the Xenomorph will use its tail that much of like as a weapon, because we see that sometimes, but I think, I don't think it really did that in the last movie. It tends to just headbite people, but I'd like to see the tail used as a weapon. That would be quite cool. So yeah, that was everything I had planned to look at for this video. So make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on this new footage that has been shown, these new images and short tr teaser trailers we've seen. And yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to the movie, whether you plan to go see it in the cinema. I plan to go see it in the cinema, uh, maybe not opening night, but hopefully as soon as I can, because I like to go when it's not like packed. But... I'd like to go there soon so I can get a review for it out and make some more videos talking about it. But I am excited for the new film, I will say. So, yeah, I'm going to get into it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.